So what I'm saying is that we have to have that legislation in case we get to that moment. So we expect that we have the right number of beds, we expect that we have the right number of ventilators for what we consider to be the eventuality that may come, but we cannot find ourselves in the event that we are wrong, and as I said before, this is not an exact science, we cannot find ourselves with 51 people needing a ventilator, with 50 ventilators available and no law to enable us to decide who should have the ventilator because we need to protect the doctors who are going to make those decisions so that the decisions that they make cannot later be impugned or challenged in a way that exposes them legally. And that is why we need to have this legislation. As I said, this is legislation which is going to, in effect, challenge your most fundamental right, your Article 1 right to life, uh, because you're going to be told that you cannot have a ventilator because somebody else is going to have it. And that's why the community must see what the basis for that legislation is and the community must understand the protocols on which doctors will base their decisions if that horrible moment were to come. I sincerely hope that we've pushed that away in fact, but we have to be ready in theory and that means having our laws in place for that reason.